Hey guys, it's Melina and you're watching Maybe Melina. Today we're going to be doing a London snacks, UK snacks video. Um, I'm really excited about this. I'm sure you guys, wait, no, I, I mentioned it in the vlogs, but only the first vlogs went up. So you guys didn't even know that I'm going to do this, but I'm so excited i've been waiting since like the third day of this trip i, I knew before this trip that i was going to do this because obviously snacks are great but um i've tried so hard not to eat any of these and thankfully i didn't so but we're not going to wait any longer we're not going to torture me any longer i'm finally going to get to eat these and i'm so excited so let's get on into this okay guys so we have a whole bin of snacks to get into so let's just get on into these let's see what's the first thing this is a Kit Kat chunky peanut butter and yes obviously we have Kit Kats in America but we don't get um, the really cool flavors so I decided to pick this up and we're kind of doing this in order of like what's the most American to what's the least American in my opinion. So um, don't mind the packaging or the um, shape of the candy bars because obviously I took two flights home and several bus rides so they're kind of messed up but uh, this is what it looks like. It's broken into like little little pieces that it didn't just break right. That bothers me but it's okay. Um, so we're going to take a bite of this. It's pretty much like a Reese's on top of a Kit Kat. It's pretty good. Okay, so let's see what this second one is. This is a Mars bar. And Mars is a really popular com company in the US, but um, I'm not sure. I don't think we have any Mars bars in the US. So let's see what this says. It is a Milk chocolate with soft nougat and caramel center. Sounds good. So let's open this up. It just looks like a, a Snickers bar that's pretty smushed. So. It's pretty much just like a, um, a Milky Way. Like, I don't see any difference. Let's see what's third. Okay, so we have some crispy wafers filled with hazelnut. So we have these in the US, but I've never seen a hazelnut one. We might have them, I'm not sure. But um, I know we have vanilla, chocolate, strawberry, but I've never seen hazelnut. So I got some of these, and these I have a feeling are really, really squished. They're one of the first things that I got, so let's just uh, beware. Oh, yep, yeah, there's crumbs flying. It just looks like a regular wafer um, filled with cream. And this is making such a mess, but... Tastes like the ones from America that are like vanilla, except instead of vanilla, it's kind of like Nutella in the middle, I guess. Let's see what's next. All right, this is a bounty. And this seems very American. Um, it makes me think of a Mounds Bar, which is just straight up milk chocolate and uh, coconut. And that's exactly what this says it is, is milk chocolate and coconut. So I like Mounds Bars. I'm excited to see if this compares to it. Um, it looks exactly like a Mounds Bar. So exactly like a Mounds Bar. All right, let's see what else we have. All right, these are malt, Maltesers, Maltzers. Um, they pretty much sound just like a Whopper. Um, so yeah, let's dig in. Hold up, let's see what the packaging says. <clears throat> Milk chocolate with a honeycomb center. Sounds just like a Whopper to me. Oh dang, okay. Well, all right, so they're just little chocolate balls, just like a um, Whopper would be. Exactly like a Whopper. What else do we have? All right, 
This is the Crunchy. And I didn't even read up on this one. Most of them I've read at least a little bit about it. Um, it's made by Cadbury. Milk chocolate with golden honeycomb center. That's exactly what the other thing said. What the Maltzer said. Well, let's try it. Oh, well, it broke off. Okay. Well, this is what it looks like. Let's see inside. That looks really pretty. It looks like a straight up honeycomb from a bee. So let's try it. It tastes kind of like a Heath bar, except more honey than um whatever a Heath bar is filled with. <laughs> what else do we have? A lion bar. I didn't read up on this one either. It's a filled wafer with caramel and cereals covered with milk chocolate. So you're gonna hear me roar. <laughs> jokes <laughs> all right well that didn't open so smoothly okay so it's crunchy looking it looks like it would have like nuts or something in it um let's try it it's like a a baby ruth except without nuts and with a wafer bottom so that's really, really good. What else do we have? All right. These are minstrels. And it says that they are, let's see. Well, they're made by Mars. And it is milk chocolate in a sugar shell. Sounds like M&M's except without a colorful outside. Yeah, they look like a bigger version of Eminem. So, exactly like I guessed, just like an Eminem. Let's see what's next. All right, this is the Toffee Crisp, and it is <laughs> made by Nest, made by Nestle. It's toffee and crisp cereal filled milk chocolate. Okay, sounds good. I can figure out the packaging. <laughs> All right. So it just looks like your basic candy bar. And let's take a bite. This one is so, so good. It's like a, um, uh, kind of like a crunch bar with, a. Uh, a chocolate filling that's kind of like the consistency of caramel. Let's see what's next. All right, this is the Wisp of Gold and it is made by Cadbury. Let's see. Textured milk chocolate bar with soft caramel center. Sounds uh, simple enough. Ooh, it's just like a very clean cut chocolate bar. I don't know why, but that just, I love when it's clean cut. I don't know. It's just a thing. I haven't gotten to the caramel part yet. <laughs> this one is just your basic chocolate and caramel bar. It's really thick chocolate and very uh liquidy caramel um and in that first bite i didn't get any caramel let's find out what's next all right this is the double decker we're getting to the last of the list um so this is also made by cadbury they must have like a cadbury company there or something like a big manufacturer there uh milk chocolate with smooth chewy nougat and crisp crunchy cereal filling Sounds good. If that's not the most British name though, like the double decker buses, does that not make sense? Oh goodness, it got squished on the fly. Ooh. Okay, well, you'll have to use your imagination to see what this looks like. 
But um, this is what it looks like now. The filling's kind of gotten everywhere. So let's take a bite of this stickiness. It's just like a crunch bar, except with like a marshmallow filling on top. It's really good. I'm excited to see what is next. All right, these are the Quavers, and they are a light curly potato snack in cheese flavor. I've been the most excited about these. Oh wow, they're big. I thought they would be like small little Frito size. like. The normal Fritos, not the scoops. All right. So this is what it looks like. It's one of those odd smelling cheeses. Mm. What's this taste like? It tastes like something. Almost like a cheese Pringle. Like a cheese Pringle, but with the um, consistency of a Funyun. And what else do we have? Wow, okay. These are the Walker's Max Deep Ridge Taste Flame Grilled Steak. So, I don't know how popular these are over there. It says it's a new flavor. Um, but I got these in the vending machine at the airport. So, I thought surely they'd be pretty popular. Kind of nervous about this flavor though. Flame grilled steak sounds gross. Oh, and they smell bad. It smells like when your grandma makes uh, pot roast. Whew. And these are what they look like. I forgot to show you. Just like your basic ridge chip. It has like a pot roast pre taste. I'm like, a steak middle taste and then the aftertaste is just like pot roast um pot roast soaked potato it's definitely an acquired taste but i think they're pretty good i like pot roast so. okay guys so that was the last of the snacks that i got in the uk and i'm really sad because they were all so good but thank goodness i have leftovers of everything um i went back through and tasted everything once again and I tried to figure out what my favorite was. And it's definitely the Toffee Crisp. I don't know why. It's just... It's just good. It's just really, really good. Um, Everything else was okay. I'd have to say my least favorite would definitely be the Wisp of Gold. Because it was just so, so basic. Like, with a name like Wisp of Gold... You would really think it'd be something extra and something special and something very nice. And then it's just caramel and chocolate. So, it just, I mean, it wasn't bad in any way. But it just wasn't as, as good as I thought it would be. So, but, um, yeah, that's about everything. Um, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up right down there. Comment down below what you would want to see next. Um, I definitely loved this video, you guys. I need to do more like this. I know there's, um, there's boxes that you can order that come with, like, all types of different country snacks. So, I definitely have to order one of those because that's really great. I really liked, like, I really liked trying, uh, new things, um. And I really think they were better than American snacks. Sorry, America. Whoops. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you guys again Monday. Bye, guys. You need to do a blooper video. <laughs> yes. I'm going to cut this out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't want to talk with my mouth full. What's third? Didn't even go into any screen.